สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe called p a t Mama. p a t means to stir fry, and Mama is these guys right here, Thailand's favorite brand of instant noodles. That's right, we love it so much. We use it in all sorts of recipes. Um, recently, I shared with you a Mama salad recipe, which was a hit. Many of you have made it and share your results with me. So I wanted to share with you one more recipe that I love that I use these noodles for. It's a stir fry. It's easy and quick and so good. Let's get started. So for this recipe, I am using pork flavor, which in Thailand is like the most classic flavor. However, you can apply this technique that I'm showing you with any flavor that you like, as long as the noodles are this type of noodles, which is the classic wheat deep fried crunchy noodles, which are, by the way, delicious on its own as well. If you crumble it up and just eat it raw like potato chips. So what you want to do with these is break these first into quarters because I find that the noodles are a little too long if you don't break them. Yeah, make sure you get all the little bits, or just eat them. <laughs> Whatever you like. The seasoning. So mama seasoning. There are three things in here. There's garlic oil. Chili powder and the actual seasoning flavor. I'm gonna use all of it. The chili powder obviously is up to you, and the seasoning powder can be salty. So if you don't like it that salty, maybe just do one or one and a half instead of both. Okay, but I like mine pretty salty, so I'm gonna use both. Okay, so I'm just gonna add all of the seasoning into this mixing bowl. This garlic oil right here is. So good. Yes. So as much of the chilies as you like, you don't have to put any in at all if you don't want to. So Adam has pleaded that I don't put in both the chilies. So I guess I'm only putting one chilies in. So I'm also going to add just a little bit of sugar to balance it all out. So that's our seasoning bowl. I'm going to just talk about some vegetables for a second. For this, you can use any kind of vegetables you like, but you want to go with something that's a little crunchy. Okay, so I've got here some carrots, some onions, and some green cabbage. I think this is a really good combination. Pretty classic for Pat Mama in Thailand. I've also got some fresher vegetables. For the end, I'm using tomatoes. Roma tomatoes is always my go-to option for stir fries because it doesn't have as much water, and so it won't turn your stir fry soggy. Then you don't have to worry too much about taking the seeds out. I've also got a couple of eggs, which is So important for this, like eggs make this dish. Okay, you can put three if you want to, and some chopped garlic, and that is it. Let's get cooking. So we're gonna have to cook these noodles off first. I've got a pot of boiling water here. Make sure you've got plenty. I'm gonna add these in, and you're just gonna cook this for exactly one minute. It's gonna be a little bit under, but we're gonna be stir frying these again. So you definitely don't want this to be cooked too much. So as soon as the noodles are sort of Loosened up from the block formation, you're done. And you can use your spatula to sort of help them split apart a little bit. There we go. That's it. Ah! Careful, it's hot. And then just to stop them from cooking, we're just gonna run some cold water through them really quickly, just to cool it down slightly. That's it. Just five seconds of cold water running through. Shake off as much water as you can. Remember, these are instant noodles, which means they cook instantly. They cook very quickly. So any like even a few seconds too long can overcook them. This goes directly into the seasoning bowl that we've prepared. Whoop! And give them a quick toss. Make sure everything's well. Mix especially those chili powder, and I just prefer to mix it in this bowl so I can really take my time making sure that all the seasoning is well distributed. Because once this goes in the wok, like the timer starts ticking, right? You can't take all day <laughs> mixing everything up. I got my handy dandy wok here. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil in there. First order of business, garlic is gonna go in. Whee! Give that a quick toss. Allow the garlic to infuse its flavor into the oil. So once the smallest pieces of garlic starts to turn golden, I'm going to add my vegetables in. Now, if you're using some like leafy greens, definitely save those for the end, okay? Because I'm using all sturdy, crunchy vegetables, they need a little longer. Woohoo! Now the vegetables are going to need some seasoning. So I've got here just a combination of soy sauce and fish sauce. You can just do only soy sauce or only fish sauce, but you don't want to leave the seasoning left out of the vegetables. 
Oh, the smell of fish sauce in the air. Love it. So once that has wilted slightly, completely depends whether you like your vegetables soft or hard. You can give them a little more time if you want. I'm gonna add my eggs now, but I'm gonna add a little bit more oil over here so the eggs have something to cook in. Get back here. I'm gonna just break the yolks. Kinda let them cook halfway. Once the eggs look kind of like that, I'm going to add the noodles right on top of the eggs. I want the eggs to sort of hold on to some of the noodles, mix and mingle, and then toss everything together. Woo! I'm just going to crank my heat now. I want the eggs to cook and brown a little bit. The flavor of browned eggs is so good in this dish. Don't feel like you need to toss it all the time. Let it sit and sear a little bit. Listen to that sizzle. Bok, 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 bok. Woo, there we go. And once the eggs are well cooked, you've got some nice browning going on. That is it. I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna throw in my tomatoes and green onions and cilantro. Give it a final mix. Look at that. Did that not just elevate the humble instant noodles into something that looks so scrumptious? Ooh, and this is something you definitely want to serve ASAP because, again, remember this is instant noodles, it continues to swell, so it doesn't store that well. Like, if you keep it for tomorrow, it'll be fine, but you'll notice that the noodles have swollen a little bit. Oh yes, look at all those charred bits. A little squeeze of lime would be great on this too, but I find the tomatoes alone just gives it just enough acidity. This looks so good. I want to make sure I get a tomato in there. Oh, the smell of mama. Mm. These noodles really have a unique texture that no other brand of instant noodles have. So it's really important to get the true essence of this dish that you use mama. And you might think that like, oh, she just took all the seasoning and just threw it in a stir fry. But I promise you, all those things like the eggs, the vegetables, like even a little bit of soy sauce and fish sauce that we add, they all really play a role in elevating this and really turning it into something else. Man, if you don't have that much time and you got mama in the in the cupboard and you're like, I'm not that desperate to just boil it in water, you want to do something a little more sophisticated, throw some veggies and eggs in there. I'm telling you, it is so delicious. So the recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure you do so you don't miss an awesome recipe like this. And make sure you also click that little bell icon so you will get a notification when I post a new video. If you love the show and you want to support us, check out our Patreon link in the description below. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.